Hi everyone, um, I'm just trying to do a bit of audio over this because it was a bit of a plop, it was the sound on it. Well, I'm starting here, trying, to, trying out doing a, a hake brush painting for you. It's the cheap, you see the hake brushes I'm showing there, the small brush. And a little pointer brush a bit longer would probably be better for you to give you more swish with your uh, stalks on your uh, trees and so on anyway this the paper's pretty um, it's that Fabriano which is not a bad paper for what we're using it for that's this uh, uh, wet on wet really type of painting and we stretch the the paper now and again during painting. You're looking at the palette now, which I'm using for this. Uh, with the, on the left, the blue uh, cobalt, then the ultramarine blue, but the cobalt would have been fine on its own without the ultramarine. Then there's a bit of red, alizarine next, and burnt, um, uh, light red, sorry, then a little bit of uh, orange at the far corner, right corner. I'm pointing at uh, cobalt now. There. Now there's burnt umber, but for the yellows, the, there's a, the most uh, popular one is the lemon yellow because it seems to work fine, the lemon yellow. And it mixes with your Payne's grey. The Payne's grey was the bottom left. Now I do intend, I think, to change over to two small palettes and have uh, the light colours in one and the blues and that and the dark colours in the other then I can have them at the far side of the palette and then the water will, won't will spread all over the palette and you'll be able to keep them clean. The idea with me is to I want to do clean uh, hake painting because you'll find that if you're not careful you'll, and you're going over, over things, it becomes rather muddy. Now you won't see this on a, here if it was muddy, actually. It would look okay, but when you come up close to these paintings, what's been done with whether they've not kept it clean, more or less, the paints. Like Ron Ranson always had a clean, very, very clear, and very lovely and clean his paintings. And uh, I had my other way he, he, he worked, keeping his paints light and more free. Now, this yellow here I'm putting on in the, down the centre, of course it will. It'll not look as yellow as that when it's dry, but what it t does enable you to do is to use that if you wanted to make a, 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 a little lake at the bottom. It would give you the light it in the... The, the lake in the centre, it's a little trick. Now this blue, you see, is nice and clean, I'm putting it on. Because it's um, it's a little bit of cobalt. Now I think uh, Mr Ranson used a good paper towards the later end. Uh, his last ones he did were very good paper. Well, because it is a lot easier and it, it blends out more with a, the with a quality paper. Although this is not bad, you can use this, so don't b bother about that. Now I'm just putting, now putting this uh, cloud in now, you, you see the little bits of runs at the bottom of each uh, brush mark? Well they disappear actually. You won't see them afterwards. You can let, can you see, don't worry, can you see the line, like little dots right at the bottom there of each stroke? You don't bother about that, because that uh, actually, with it being wet, paper it absorbs it and it spreads it out can you see and you don't see it do you can you see it's disappearing now now in some cases what I noticed Ron would do he would like he would let it dry a little bit or he wouldn't come so far down if he was doing this type of a painting where you're putting mountains in you could actually keep away from this like at the top end of the you could do wet on the bottom, um, bottom end of the paper you could leave dry, which uh, I think he did well now and again, and it's, that's an advantage. Uh, and then you can, once the top half is uh, done, you can 
wet the bottom half. Well, I can carry on that way. It's a nice way of doing it. You see everything's blended in there, isn't it? You can see it's perfectly blended in and there's no problems with it at all. Now, I'm just... Uh, when I was doing this a few minutes ago, uh, I was finding that um, I couldn't speak very well because I was eating a black pudding. Have you ever heard of black puddings? Barry. Berry black puddings from Barry in Lancashire. Oh, I do like them. I've never used had them for years, but I, I, I bought some in the uh, this in the supermarket with the order, and, and it was, uh, and I really enjoyed these black puddings because I remember as a child we all had them, but I think they would be a favourite with a lot of uh, countries because they're actually well, I don't say like saying what they're made out of, but. Um, it's what we all have in us, you know what I mean? <laughs> in other words, somebody will tell me from Lancashire, they're called Burry Black Puddings. And they're really nice, they taste really lovely. Well, I'm just, this blue I was putting in, I was in, probably intending to put in a little river there, but things changed in my mind as I was carrying on doing the painting. I'm, I'm trying keeping it clean, as you can see, it's not very dirty. A little bit of a... Red in the blue for the sky would have it, it does it look very it looks attractive. Now I'm just uh, going to bring two pieces coming out, and I was thinking of, in the lines of having a path round the right hand side of the water, uh, circling round into the distance where there would be a cottage. Just saying. That's over on the right hand corner, right hand corner there, which you'll see in a minute. I'll come across with this. Uh, there's a bit running there, so I've wiped it off with my hand. Yeah, very black puddings, everybody. Lovely. This is a brush you can use. Uh, Ron Ranson used one a bit wider than that. I don't know whether it was the uh, a black goater, or a, like I sometimes use, which are very soft. Because, of course, the. Um, the Hague is a goat her, it's very stiff and strong, isn't it? It's kind of like a bristle, isn't it? But I do, I think I saw him using a, a black brush, one of these type, like, it bends well, and you can use the, like, the base of the brush. Now, I'm just touching those for, uh, that for landing. I'm keeping it light, I know it's not very strong and you don't see it well, but it's it like it it blends in as, as though it's misty in the distance. And you also need to bring some dark now into the foreground to give you that distance. Now wait see now let's see if we bring a path around this way here. Okay. Now I've not made my mind's up yet. Now I'm going to make my mind up, I think, and put it, yes, I'm going to bring it right down to the foreground here. So you're walking up round this uh, lake or flash like, along this path there, see, like that. Of course, I'll, I'll cover that up again because your mind's working all the time when you're painting something like this and you're seeing things come out of it. You know, you're seeing little things come out as you're doing it. See, now... This path has to have some side to it, hasn't it, kind of thing. So as you're walking past it, you might have trees on your right-hand side almost hanging over into your path. But the, this time, I don't, I'll bring it across as a, as a tractor land coming into the path and then taking it. Another behind it, which comes in again in the foreground here, another piece. Now, this is raw sienna. Raw sienna does seem to cover well. And it seems to, can I say, now that's a bit of burnt sienna on top. Just that little bit, to, so that you'll see that light green in the background. Can I say, you know, the, of that hill at the back, which is uh, a hill actually. Now I'm just trying to bring a, the, this path coming across here to make it come forward a bit. Now then, see what I'm doing now. I can't see myself. I'm just putting a few trees or something in there already and a few reflective parts for the for the water. You see, I'm not trying to overdo it. I'm keeping it simple. 
I don't want to start splattering there and end up with it so thick that it all blends, it all really looks dirty when you come up to look at it. I'm trying to keep it clean if you can. I know it's not normal. A lot of people just let it slap on anyway. Now there's a chance here now to bring these trees really forward, haven't you? See, you know, I don't put, I'm not putting a lot on there. Just simple. Remember, the less you put in, the better. And that's uh, you lot. You know, you, you were giving me thumbs down, you thickheads. I'm going to come here and I'm going to kick up the backside. So just cut it out, will you? Hey, if you can do better, why don't you get on here and do it? Hey? Ah, you're yellow, ain't you? Put your name on, I could ban you. Well, I can't ban you totally, but I would do, I could. <laughs> but I, I don't mind, I don't mind you calling me. I don't mind you thumbs down, thumbs up. Thumbs wherever you want to put them. It won't bother me one bit. I just don't care. <laughs> I'm just enjoying painting them, not bothered about anything else. Now, what's this finishing part now? The main thing. Or is it? I'm not finished yet. I'm just trying to put a few reflections in. Nah, just not just splattering in any other way. To keep it free. There we are. Yeah, this... Uh, you could add, like, a, a decent... Uh, well... Uh, pay, pay. You don't need to use the uh, students. Say one decent, uh, the blue, say, was a decent ultramarine. Uh, student, no, you can buy some, uh, uh, like, some of the, these home, home, home paints kind of thing, which are, are cheap, like the uh, art materials, well, they sell their own, their own name paints, which are cheaper, but uh, like Jackson's paints, uh, Bromless, Bromless paints, so on. And th you could use one of them as the stronger part of the thing. The, uh, just the uh, the blues, say, or the yellows, yellow line, lemon yellow. Now this one's cutting out, doesn't it? It's been cut out anyway. That's the sound, you know. So what we're doing now, let's have a see what he's up to. It doesn't look too bad, does it? As it is. Just just a few strokes. Uh, in between the... You can't have it going all the way up through... You, you shouldn't do through the... Uh, the leaves and the foliage what's coming towards you it's a round tree remember the foliage coming towards you as well as uh, you don't make it like a flat so you're trying to make it look round so you don't go where the, the foliage is thickest with your uh, branches etc And maybe I'll make a little thing there. I should have took the, the base of the, the trunk a little bit farther into the uh, the soil of the little bit of a protrusion, what's coming out into the water. Just take it that little bit farther because it's right on the top, you know. But usually I take it a little bit farther down and, and just wet it out with a little, or just damp it and... If you want to do, you can use a piece of paper and damp it at the bottom where it's it, because it goes lighter when it's reach, reaching right at the bottom, and just damp it with a little bit of paper. It'll make it just a little bit lighter. And as I've said before, under each uh, where your branches go next to the clumps, a little bit of dark there because they're a little bit darker the top of the branch than halfway down the branch. Because of the dark of the of the foliage is ca causing it to be darker. Uh, though yeah, I think you find it's not really so bad. That is it really? 
you know, it's nice and, and simple. Now, I try to get you to do simple things. Even the, everything is nice, since it's in life, what's simple. We're not, we don't want uh, something special, we're, we're only enjoying it. I want you to really enjoy the painting, I don't want to, you to take it too serious and get too involved in that, you know, where you, you, you say, oh, I don't, I don't like him because he can paint, I can't paint as good and all this, you know, just don't bother. And uh, yeah, I hope you're happy with that. Don't forget, have a black pudding now and again.